welcome to another tutorial, the sixth in the series. I will use Creo Parametric 3.0. I have to apologize because I wasn't able to change it to English language. So you have to go with the German version. But anyway, let's open a new and empty assembly. And insert some parts. I go to this folder and first I want to insert the ground plate. You can just place it and then you can place some constraints. So this one to that one, this plane to that plane, and finally this plane to that plane. And the ground plate is fully fixed. Confirm it. Let's add another component. This would be Change here to Katia because I have all the parts in Katia, and this would be the Führungsbacke. Open it, just place it somewhere, and then you can add the constraints. So I want to make these two not distance but coincident. Okay, and then I want to have this axis on that axis, and maybe this axis to that axis. Confirm it. Now let's add another component. it and the placement is the same so this one coincident to that face yes and maybe this one to that one okay confirm it Let's move this component by drawing this one, maybe over here, confirm it, close it, insert the next component, Okay, so this face should be coincident to that face, change it to coincident, and this axis should be aligned with that axis. And again, Confirm it. Insert the next component. Okay, place it somewhere. This face has to be on that face and the axis of this one should be aligned to the axis of that one and confirm it. Now that's 
smooth just a little bit maybe like this okay close it insert the next component axis should be aligned to that axis okay this face should be tangent to that face yeah and this face should be tangent to that face not coincident but tangent confirm it yeah looks nice only these components are missing so go for another one this would be the screw This face should be on that face. Mm, and this should be coincident. Something went wrong, so we'll try it once again. and this one should be aligned to that one. Confirm it. Insert the next screw. Okay, and that's already selected, so put it right there. And use this one and confirm it. Now only these two components are missing. the next one this would be this one okay and this axis should be aligned to that axis okay one two that one not a distance but coincident okay nice confirm it and the last one this axis and the plane to that plane. Confirm it and I'm 
done. So this went well uh, as well. Hope you enjoyed it. See you to the next series or with just a single video. Bye bye. Thank you.